battle for California between Bush and Dukakis seems to pale in comparison at times to the debate which centers on that essential ingredient of California life, the car. Here's ABC's Brian Rooney. In California, the campaign trail is the freeway. Forget the presidential candidates. The most contested political issue here is what it costs to insure a car. Drivers complain about a system in which they are charged not by their driving records, but where they live. New York City drivers pay an average $768 a year. In Miami, almost $1,700. But in Los Angeles, car insurance averages $2,600. Mr. Rosenfield, what is the mood of the people out there in California right now? Angry. We're fed up with uh, three years of high insurance rates. We're fed up with moving from one neighborhood to the next and having our uh, insurance rates go up 50 percent. People are angry and that's why we put Proposition 103 on the ballot. A watchdog group has filed a lawsuit against the California Department of Managed Health Care. The group alleges state regulators wrongfully allowed insurance companies to deny certain treatments for children with autism. A major insurance company is accused of canceling health policies illegally. In health news today, the group Consumer Watchdog has asked California Attorney General Jerry Brown to investigate whether the nation's two biggest health insurance companies, including United Health Group, broke state law by pressuring employees to oppose health care reform. The California-based Foundation for Taxpayer and Consumer Rights said that for $26 each, it was able to buy the social security numbers and home addresses of Attorney General John Ashcroft, CIA Director George Tenet, and Carl Rove. Our advocates say the industry's initial response to disaster is usually good, but that can change. As you get further away from the disaster, the insurance companies seem to get tighter and tighter and they squeeze harder and harder. It's outrageous that the executives that created this mess, knowingly uh, putting people in loans they couldn't afford, are now poised to make a fortune cleaning it up. Put simply, insurance companies don't like to insure people who they think are going to be sick. People in California support stem cell research overwhelmingly, but they didn't intend to write a blank check for biotech. They expected the benefit from the research. At the rate gasoline is going up now, I think $4 is very likely, at least in the West. In California, the alarm was sounded, but the politicians hit the snooze button. Could I predict a phony energy crisis as a result of deregulation? Yes. Could I predict that Arnold Schwarzenegger would be our governor as a result of deregulation? Never would have come up with that. The special interests. You know, but you know something? They cannot stop me. When Governor Schwarzenegger started calling regular people special interests, the Foundation's Arnold Watch took him on. They call it Air Arnold, an airplane complete with a protest banner. Air Arnold flew over Arnold Schwarzenegger's Southern California home this weekend, and now protesters say they plan to make Air Arnold a fixture at future fundraising events. Governor Schwarzenegger has violated his promises to the uh, public by taking big money from special interest groups whose agendas don't align with the needs of the people. He lifted rules that essentially forced nurses to work more for the same pay. Then he had to face them. I've seen these protests fill from 20 people to 6,000 people in San Francisco. I think they've shattered his ego. It is an honor Chevron could do without. Tonight it received the Golden Novel Award for what one consumer group calls sticking it to the customers. The group presented the trophy to a Chevron representative outside a closed-door meeting in Los Angeles. The Chevron representative only said he wished the group did more research. He says if they had, the group would find everyone suffering from rising fuel costs, including Chevron. Is that what they're telling you guys? Oh, it's a total lie. Well, opponents of Google's Street View program say the technology is like having Big Brother prying into your personal life. So today, a consumer watchdog organization rolled out this talking billboard designed to push Google leaders to answer questions. Was our medical information collected? Our financial information? Nobody knows because Google has refused to answer these questions. Now, we thought today we'd bring this bull and some of this bull's waste product to Edison <laughs> so that Edison could get a little glimpse of what they've been dumping in our living rooms. Yes. The Foundation for Taxpayer and Consumer Rights is opposing the merger of Pacific Care and United Healthcare HMOs. So I got 89 cent donuts. Tell me what you got for 1500. They offered to sell simple Krispy Kreme donuts to people leaving expensive fundraiser breakfasts and eat a lot cheaper and 
save democracy at the same time. The Foundation for Taxpayer and Consumer Rights tried a unique way of protesting a piece of legislation now before the Senate. Despite their best efforts to write the social security number of Citigroup's CEO, of, there it is, of the Manhattan skyline, Mother Nature chose to offer a little privacy to Charles Prince. There is no reason that the people that live in these houses should pay a different rate if they're a good driver than the people that live across the street. Why is that? Well, because that's a different zip code. And some people say that's got to change. A banner day for California's consumer advocates and many of its drivers, a filing deadline facing auto insurance companies. Twenty years after its passage, Proposition 103 author Harvey Rosenfield announced that today is the deadline for companies to file new premium pricing guidelines based on how someone drives, not where they live. So let me tell you, it saved billions and billions and billions, at least according to this study, $60 billion worth of savings can all be tracked back to the voter-approved Prop 103. Between 1989, when 103 took effect, and now uh, the auto insurance premiums in California have only risen by 12.9%, whereas in the national average rate of growth, 50%. We're advocating is that all state needs to lower its rates under new regulations that just passed. Ball State was ordered by a judge in San Francisco today to roll back its auto insurance rates effective on Monday. That could apply to you. All State was told to comply with a $250 million rate reduction. Stringent regulation of rates is the, is the only way to protect consumers and results in lower insurance premiums. You can take on the biggest industry in this country and you can win. We filed a challenge with the patent office. The patent office just this past week said you're right, these patents don't belong in the scientific process. And, and as a result, we're going to see the laboratory door opened up in America for stem cell research. And this is a huge victory for public science, for health care. Right Nurses, patients, doctors, and consumers are all converged on Blue Shield headquarters in San Francisco, demanding a stop to the insurer's big rate hike. Blue Shield today is postponing raising health insurance rates up to 59 percent. Now that announcement came just minutes before 250 protesters gathered outside the company's corporate headquarters in San Francisco. The president of Consumer Watchdog says ultimately California's insurance commissioner needs more power. We need an elected insurance commissioner to have the power to tell them to wait. Uh, they weren't going to wait until the nurses showed up and the patients showed up. I have that authority for car insurance and homeowners insurance and casualty insurance, but I don't have it for health insurance. So consumer watchdogs want more regulation. We need a tough new law, a big stick to just be able to give the government the power to say no when insurance companies try to take people hostage in the way they're doing that. A do not track bill has stalled at the federal level and California may be leading the way on internet privacy. They shouldn't have to worry about being spied on. By the Senate Judiciary Committee took a big step in protecting Californians' online privacy by approving a first-in-the-nation do-not-track proposal, requiring a simple opt-out feature on search engines to tell website operators you do not want your online habits monitored. It's a bill that will finally uh, get our privacy rights into the digital age. Uh, we have a constitutional right to privacy in this state, but the law hasn't kept pace with what's going on on the Internet. Why are car insurance companies spending millions to pass Prop 17? The California Attorney General says Prop 17 will raise your rate. The ESI, which is heavily funded by Mercury Insurance, has spent $13.5 million or so. Rosenfield paints himself as David up against Goliath, doing what he can, like attacking his message on the back of airplanes. Having no money forces us to be creative, forces us to be uh, who we are, which is an honest group of people, an honest group of men and women trying to protect uh, uh, tens of millions of Californians against a rip-off proposition. 